let's go down here. So it'll be far enough. Wheel, oh shit, I'm way out of frame. <clears throat> Had me a nice little break up here on the hill. As you can see, the view is kind of nice. Well, I don't know how much you can see of it until I get the camera back in my hand, but I figured this would be a good spot to stop, take a half hour break, and just relax, have some snacks, and watch everybody down at the Dog Valley Trailhead. I thought it was pretty good. My wires bothered me for my recorder, but as long as it doesn't snag any brush, I guess it's okay because we're not doing TV production. We don't need to have all the wires hidden and a fanny pack with the radio or the recorder in it. Uh, so there's downtown Reno and, you know, as I get better off, we'll get over to those outcroppings and get better video closer for the news channel. <clears throat> which will be up pretty soon, but we've got to get going because I want to be home by at least dark. See the Dog Valley Trailhead down there where you're getting the up and down problems is uh, is that trail that's uh, five miles from our starting point where we started at on this trail. Welcome back to video three, by the way. And what I was going to talk about on the thing is this here is a handheld CV radio and you know I can hear Skip hard on the right spot you can hear Louisiana and Alabama and all that but we're not shooting Skip there's bicyclists down there I don't know if you can see them but they're over there by that shack heading off to the trail head off to the trail but anyway so we're going to go walking now that cb radio this is a modern version but when i first started hiking um walking hiking in the hills the cb radio was what we carried we didn't carry any of them them fm radios and we're clear on the road we're gonna go this way. We didn't carry any of them hiking radios that have weather. This has got red weather on it, it'll receive it. Since I'm listening to channel 19 and I don't have the squelch up high enough to get rid of the static, because it's pretty high, I'll hear get the right altitude and the right weather conditions on a CB radio. A two watt radio will talk from Reno to Louisiana or Alabama or Texas or New York City on the right weather conditions. So I've got this little radio back there. It's just that's what we used to pack on when I was, when we was um, hiking when I first started hiking. Now they got them fancy, uh, um, what they're calling hiking radios, which is FM, the higher band. They don't interfere with, they don't get interference from the towers and stuff like that. And you can use them for short range, so you want to talk to the person in front of you or on an ATV you can put them on Vox and get you an ear set just like this rear handheld radio CB I just showed you probably if I can get it loose squelch this thing out oh shit lost my clip And get rid of the static from the towers. And that's hitting me pretty good. Ten to twenty miles an hour. Just up to that's thirty miles an hour in the evening. That's the weather radio. Tuesday, sunny in the morning, then becoming partly cloudy. Highs seventy-seven to eighty-two. 
I'm trying to figure out how to get the squish to work because it's not even registering. And the more I turn it up, the static I got. So it's probably something I did. Yeah, I turned the light on too. This one's even got a flashlight on top. Now I turn the light off. It's probably something I did. These power lines above us aren't going to help any. So it's probably no good right now until we can get the, get away from these damn power lines. Then, you know, if you got a whole group going on you and you've only got one recorder having a bunch of radios and a radio and the recorder in the backpack and recording just listening. And then you could talk on the radio with Fox, have this kind of setup or different setup, and everybody that's in your group could be on the same channel, private channel, by the way, with the newfangled radios. There's a lizard. With these newfangled radios. And uh, you could actually um, have a full conversation while you're walking with the people in your group and not be close together so that you're all bunched up. One person could be up on top of the hill and two people could be halfway up that hill in front of you and there could be people way back there at the beginning of the trail by the rock pile that we just left. Then you would know their status if they got hurt or bitten by an animal and it wouldn't have to be. This is why we used CBs back in the day, especially when I was doing trail guiding when I was in Northern California. You give everybody a CB radio. They're big and bulky and heavy, yes. With a headset, put them all on box. Then you can have, there's butterflies there. Then you could have uh, everybody on the same channel, on the same frequency, talking. And of course, you don't tell them how to change the frequency. Even though it's a 40 channel radio, you don't tell them how to change the frequency. You just keep them all on the same frequency so that way you can interrupt the conversation and say, Hey, Sharon, how you doing back there? It looks like you're having a little bit of trouble. And then, you know, if there's a problem, then a whole group would know that Sharon's having a problem, or Bob, or Mark, or whoever's with you. And then you could uh, all go back and assist, and uh, that would be perfect. And if you decided somebody was out front scouting for a good camping site, Then uh, they could say, hey, I found something up here. It's really nice. It's quiet. It's not in a floodplain, which this is. This valley is a floodplain, but that's not the point. You know, we got enough room to set up all 22 tents or 15 tents or whatever it is. Because I definitely don't want people sleeping next to me in the tent with me. Unless it's my girlfriend, lover, wife, hookup, whatever the terminology is for that. My girlfriend for the trail, whatever terminology is for that. Kind of really don't want to do the hookup anymore. I kind of just rather just have one, one woman, but that's another story for another video, another channel. I've got three channels go, four channels going now. Two of them are making me money and two of them are not. The one that's been open longest, the one that you're watching this video on, well, partially you'll be watching it on Rumble, but the, where this original video originated at on um, YouTube was that, um, 
was it was open the longest, but it's doing the worst. Because even the uh, the news channel that, that I, I like to just get on there and complain about whatever's in the news and what's happening with the the weirdos in the world pushing that stupid itty, you know, coming from the White House and a couple major corporations pushing transgenderism. I don't want that isms. Now we could make a left right right here and go back that way and we'd be good. But the more and more and further and further I go this way, and we haven't done any video recently going up there, follow this power line road on up to the top, then if there's a, there is a road that walks across the ridge but it drops off real quick so we go up and walk across the ridge and we come right down over there and we end up on the next turn, which is where we're going to. I'm not going to stay under the power line because I want to turn my radio back on. I want to just see if getting away from the power lines would help. And it probably will because that's magnetic interruption. This place looks a lot different than the last time I was here and that pickup truck's still sitting over there. Must be watching us walk through these fields. There's bicyclists over there. So there is a bicycle trail over there. I don't know if you can see them, but the other side of all this green, there's a white blur. There's two of them over there. And, it, and the trail goes up there, back in the hills, almost to Peavine Peak if you follow it right. Which we are going to do that walk before the summer's over. We are going to walk to Peavine Peak, probably from that Dog Valley Trailhead back over there behind us, but Dog Valley Road Trailhead, apparently we're in Dog Valley, otherwise it wouldn't be a road. I don't know why this is called Dog Valley, but there's a trail there. They could come across easily right there, then try to go up or go that way. Because our water towers are right there. So I'm thinking we go further. Get a further away. Because we're only about two hours straight back to where we started. An hour and a half, maybe. At the speed I'm walking. It's about an hour as the crow flies. So I'm thinking, maybe. I don't know. We could take a ride and then go up the hill. Which is a hard climb or just take this little climb here and go up the hill because as it is we're probably looking at five videos there's more trash you can't believe people come out here and just empty their trash out dump their totes I had a quad or a quad side side quad four-wheeler four-runner Side by side, whatever the hell you want to call them, stupid things. I probably would come out here once in a while and just pick up trash and pick it up. Then leaving it over at the park in trash bags for the city to pick up. It's right next to their trash cans. Or throwing it out there by the trailhead, something. Better than leaving it out here to rot. Which it'll be there for, that plastic tub will be there for a hundred years if it don't get picked up. We've got, you know, we're right over there as we're down in the valley again. We've got people within a half a mile of where we're at, so it wouldn't take much. Can almost walk it out here and dump it. Wouldn't take much for people to get their trash out here. Or, you know, they're, they're bouncing along too hard on their side-by-side. -side. Looks like they're going to climb the hill. Climb the trail and go up the hill. Which is kind of a slow climb. It goes this way, kind of zigzags back up. For the walking path. Now we've got some decisions to make. We walk back towards the... We want to walk back towards the water tower. And to get on the road that takes us to the water tower, we got to climb the hill. 
because then on the other side of the hill there's a path that walks around to the water tower. I think we're walking up the hill. We haven't done that in this video on this side. We did it on that side, but not on this side. And I'm just out for a walk, so it's like somebody tried to make the corner hard, fast, and slid around the corner. Ooh, there's a trail there. I'm going to go that way. Which is probably those ones that were climbing that hill up there. But that bicycle trail would probably be easier to walk up than this hill we're going to climb. Because the bicycle trail is going to put them right in that valley. And we're not going to go in the valley. This is the valley of the Jolly Green Giant. And there you go. That's what we're going to put in the description. We found the valley of the Jolly Green Giant on the website. On YouTube. I'm probably not going to put much of a description because it doesn't do any good there. But on the website... I was using Patreon for a while, but that didn't do me any good either. Because about the time I started getting patrons on there... Patreon would unsubscribe them, unsubscribe them. Because they didn't agree with what I was talking about. Because I wasn't just putting one channel there, I was putting all the channels there. And Patreon is basically just a blog site anyway. That pays you for visitors. Viewers so they can run ads. Pickup's still up there. Been sitting there for about two, about an hour and a half or more. Two hours. So we'll keep going. Today's temperature was supposed to be 70 degrees, 75. Feels more like it got to 80. So we'll, when we render these videos out, it'll just be hiking around the desert with no goal in sight. We're starting to get back up. The views are coming in. See over there, that's Donner, where the snow cap's at. And people in here, there's still snow too. And I'm not stopping because I'm tired this time. I'm stopping because I wanted to look around. And I wanted those bicycles to be out of earshot. So I can sit here and talk to you guys without worrying about them overhearing us. Because what we talk about, most people don't like. Or what I talk about on here. So I'm not going to be pushing a Patreon like a lot of people do. Because that's just ridiculous. Now the plan for this walking hiking videos is to try to fill out the summer. With these walking hiking videos. Seem to be getting a lot of good response and a lot of watch time. This is what we want. Then, yeah, that's that bottom road. So we could have, we could have walked right almost back to basically where we started from, which is not where I want to be. I want to walk down from the water towers or up further and get out. Maybe I can walk to the point where we find the hole in the fence is still there and walk through it. Which is almost the water tanks. It's up the road, up the way from the water tanks by about 100 yards. But we're just going to go up here and walk. So that guy in that pickup or four-wheel drive or whatever it is, that brown thing over there, I think he's sitting there smoking. Because I can smell marijuana once in a while when the wind changes that way. Disgusting shit. You want to make it anywhere in life? Leave that shit alone. Rot your brain cells. Nothing there. People that do it 
I got an uncle that smoked it his whole life, and now he can't remember his own damn name. Well, he lost, he figured he, he couldn't remember his own damn name at 50, so. Now he's just about 80. Still alive, but he can't walk for himself. He can't really do anything for himself. He has a tough time moving around, cleaning his house and cooking and doing any of the other stuff. And now we're in the hill. This is about a 6% grade we're walking up. And we're about the level that the bicycles would have been if they went through the pass, but we got to go up another 50 to 100 feet in elevation to get over this pass too, which is what we're going to do. Just watch these marbles, all these loose rocks. And I forgot my walking sticks. But I really can't use them because I'm always carrying this camera for you guys. But we'll climb the marble path. There goes a helicopter. I don't know if you can see it. But he flew by when I was taking a break. So that must be CHP or something. I know it's not care flight, it's black. So that's probably the cops. He's turning this way. Well, maybe not a little oil that much. But I'm pretty sure he can see the freeway from where he's at. It's probably weren't up on that peak, we can get a better look at his logos. I have an app on my phone that'll tell me what he is, but I'm not pulling my phone out right now. Because the new walking app said all I needed to do was 200 steps. And I opened it. And then I looked at something else, so it closed. Then uh, when I went to check it during the break, because I was going to exchange my steps for cash, so when I get the money, the coin money, go into my account, I opened it, and it didn't show any steps. And I already put in a couple thousand, and I was only supposed to get 500 steps. So if that app's got to be open, the screen's got to be lit while you're walking, that's going to be a problem, and that app will go away. But if it makes me money, yeah, on the other hand, if it makes me money, after I've opened it and just closed the screen dark on it, it's all set up to use the GPS on the phone, like all the rest of the apps, and this is a hell of a climb. It didn't look as long as it is, because I thought I was going to be at the top. Eh, those bicycles are still over there by now. Be at the top of the hill by now, but further we get up it, uh, yeah, see? I figured we was at the top because it didn't look that long from way down there. But it is long, it's huge. So now, we get to the top of this thing, wherever that is, probably take up this whole video, oh yeah, and then some, you see part of the bike trail right there. I'm going to try to make this video last until we get up there to the second power pole from here. That's the top. There's the bike trail. So they wouldn't have near as big of a climb as we do. At least not right now because it goes in circles around and goes up further. Because there is bicycles, but you got to start at Dog Valley Road to get to that bicycle trail. Or Hog Valley Road, sorry.
to get on that bicycle trail. It would help to have a, a trail GPS. View's getting bigger. We've definitely made some mileage. A mile anyway. Okay. This area reminds me of memories. I used to come up here at night with the girlfriends when I had one. When I had a full wheel drive too. With either the Bronco or the Jeep. Get up here in an open field, the dark, when it's pitch black out here. Set up a little campsite. Even sometimes put up a tent. Spend four or five hours up here, or longer. Hey, they're coming back down. I guess they made it up. And I guess the Valley Trail, downhill is probably easier than going up. Goes up this heights as we're going too. Probably not higher. The downhill would be more fun. If you want to do that, go up to Tahoe during the summer. Then you can go downhill all the time and never go up. You take your bicycle and ski lift and ride up to the top of the ski trail, then you get to go downhill all the time. Of course, they pay you for a lift. Ooh, more bicycles coming up. I didn't see them. Look at them legs go. They got them things in the lowest gears they can get them in. Going up. Let's keep walking. So we can go faster than the bicycles can uphill if we're in shape, which I'm not. Yeah, my legs are filling it. We're getting some good mileage out. That's good. It's three o'clock, so we've been out here a while. Yep. One of them got tired, the other one's keeping going. We gotta get up this thing. So we committed. Committed to it, or us to it. CP vine still got snow on it. We got about a hundred feet, six percent grade and higher up there to where we want to end this video, so we can start another one. So I'm overworked my computer trying to load up six hour video at one time. So that my blog could have something. Videos over there, posted by YouTube. We're getting there. Views are getting better as we get up. Isn't that something? Make sure that stays put. Make sure your listening device stays where it is. So you can eavesdrop on my conversation with myself.
And yeah, I'm getting winded again. That's okay. We're about where I wanted to end this video, but it appears we're still climbing. Still going up. So, we'll just have to uh, do it here. That'll give me a chance to get some breath. Right here at this intersection looks good. Oh yeah. And bicycle trail goes on up there. It goes way back in there. You can go to California on that bicycle trail. If you're gonna do that, might as well be bike packing, which makes it difficult to get up those hills. But well, we need to take a, a ride anyway. This video is done. As soon as I get set up here, put you down here, somewhat level. That'll work. Okay. Ooh, we're over here looking. That's even better view. All right, guys. So this is going to be the end of this video. We'll start another one. We'll do another one. This one went too long, so probably gonna have to cut a little bit out of it. But that's okay. It still gives you the general idea of what we're doing. And uh, we'll talk at you later. I know I'm gonna have to cut the tail off of all these videos to this time because of the way we're doing it. Anyway, so take care, be safe, and we'll see you with the next video. And hopefully you keep coming back and watching all my videos, and thanks for watching.